sort of his case is that of a terminal sickness that has defied medical knowledge and whatever the science of it it automatically means that the man is not
Every king that may have saved my
the inspector handling the case of the gruesome murder of my friend. It's not so easy. Because I cannot sit or watch you dismiss a principal suspect with such a flimsy excuse. I'm sorry, Mr. Martin. I've been very assessment. Strange wind will blow. I should be a man. No, no, no. Let me last to be my night. But one day, a few days later, Friends. Saving the lives of innocent citizens. I, I don't, I don't understand you. You mean trying to give a second thought to paganism just because of what a total stranger told you? With all due respect, I want you to understand the issues of the matter. The man that appears here to give one is not just an ordinary man. Okay, fine. I checked with the guards at the gate. Nobody saw him enter. Nobody saw him leave. That means the man is a spirit. Are you listening to yourself? So you're telling me that you now believe in the appearance of spirits? Mom, mom, can you, can you please just relax and understand me? Mom, just relax and understand me. Okay, fine. See, ever before this man appeared to me, he had gone to Helen and said exactly the same thing he told me. And the issue here involves the healing of your husband. So just try and see from the angle and show me the location of this tree. I am so disappointed. So you mean after so many years in the university, you believe that a man tree can actually hear your prayers and do something for you? Me, this has gone beyond what I believe as a person. Of course, you know I'm not the type that just believes whatever thing I hear. Fine. So why are you bothering me with what a certain stranger told me about a tree? Listen, your father is suffering from a terminal disease. And I am believing God for his healing. I was born into a Christian home. And I am still a Christian. Please, I do not want to talk about whatever OCC we want. Please. And where do you think you're going? A stranger told me that a tree can heal my father. And I believe the stranger. Now you have refused to show me the location of this tree. And I said, fine, no problem. I am going to get that tree. Please. For goodness sake, what is going on? 
Mrs. Simbu, is that not your dream that the missionaries wanted? Yes, but even before I got married, why would anyone make reference to it now? Sorry, Ma. What did I do? Why are you already not serious as a Christian when you are not in the place? Trying to bring the body of Christ to critical. Why? Your Majesty, what have I done to warrant all these things I'm saying to you? You told my daughter that is. Sure. I told her about the strange man who appeared to me, and I told her everything the man said to me. But I never told her where the man came from, because the man didn't even tell me where he came from. Let me ask you something. Assuming there was an Mississippi dream, and you were asked to go there and bring the body, do you do that? Well, it depends on what I'm asked to do. If it's something that will save our land or the life of somebody else, I'll definitely do it. You know what I have just concluded? Anyway, you are one of the people who have been deceiving my daughter. Put your hands forward to see my every relationship. Your Majesty, don't you think you are judging me in a hurry? You don't know me. I judge you all the time. Listen, if you want to Don't you ever drag any member of your family into it. Hello? Why is she saying all this? Does it mean she doesn't want Lynn to do something that will help the father? Okay, why buy me from seeing my friend? Why?
that young man you were interrogating is not responsible for the murder. Is that what the strange wishes are saying? How can you grab only to my wishes? Show my late father this night. You still have to do exactly what I said. Why on earth would my wife do what your late father said? My father was not alone. He was the most powerful little doctor that ever lived in the world. He died many years ago. And he has been disturbing me to take up his role as a little doctor. I rejected him. in this land and this is surely the very first time the process is being made I, I don't know why you are in a hurry I don't know why you are talking, I'm talking. sit down and I'm going to have to talk about your business King you heard all I said already and with all due respect the only thing I need from you now is what I want to hear I know exactly I'm not comfortable with the fact that nobody seems to think about my father. Why? You know, the problem I have with you is that you don't even know the gravity of offense I'm committing. I don't get that. What offense have I committed? What right do you have on earth, you, a princess of Oriental Kingdom? What right do you have to give obvious to father of the He appeared behind me and, and called me by my name. And even before he came to me, he had gone to. Helen Umejesi, I said exactly the same thing he told me. So I was supposed to listen to him. Why would you listen? Why would you listen? Are you not aware that the people who rule you, they are inferior to our people? Are you not aware of that? Why would you, why would you even have the audacity to appear before a cabinet member like me, making inquiries about our secret system because they want to go behind me and ask me to do that? Why would you do that? I know why you are looking for the tree. Man said that the tree is devoted to the princess and that whatever I ask of the tree, that is exactly what it will do for me. So, that is it. And uh, if finally there is even one inch of weakness, what are you going to ask me? The last doctor that attended to my father said that his condition has gone beyond medical science. That is not just mere elephantitis. That we need to explore other options, and I believe that the tree is part of the other option we need to explore. So, I 
want to go to the tree and ask it to heal my father for me. First thing that I have to pay for this, I was taking this So, missionaries of God, several years in the name of God. That is what he was saying. Now, on the second side, I want to take you to give you the time to understand the fact that your father, that is to say, the king, is passing through this very strange stage of life. And it is the God that has been feeding your father from these three seasons. And he has to confess to the elders in camp what he did. That forced the gods to inflict him with the sins. If he does that, he goes to the And I cannot get it. Are you very sure of what you're saying? And are you very, very sure of what you're saying? Do I have water in my mouth? I don't have water in my mouth. I'm telling you what is happening. You don't know it. I'm the one that knows and I'm the one that is telling you. As long as your father is not the healing, to confess what he did in secret and force the gods to inflict him with sins, you will continue to suffer. You will continue to suffer until he dies in the and ceases to be the king. Open and break it. Elders are eating. With the sole aim of passing a vote of confidence on the king, your father, you can prevent this from happening. Are you one of the men that are holding a meeting in secret places, conspiring against my father to pass a vote of no confidence? Are you? Do you know what? Resist them. It's better. I have reasons to believe that the source spirit is using the sorcery powers of the devil to intimidate us. But notwithstanding, as a brave policeman, I'm going to ensure that he sees the difference between the police and the authority. Concern about the strength of that man. Say that I should stay away from you. Then 
I'm really surprised why she would be that kind of honor. Well, I don't know why she's saying what she said, but let me tell you that if you love me as hard as you owe it to me, then my father did as well. Lynn, I really don't want to be your mother's man. I tell you a bit like call. What did he say? He said he called your number consistently and you so he actually called me to go to the office. I left my phone on the car while I was still in the city. So I saw the list call, but I was thinking that he was going to call back. Yeah. Well, try and call me. I think he actually said he's in town and he'll be coming to the palace today. I was seated here, watching the television, and I heard something in the song, and I knew I locked the new door. And I was like, how come? Deliberately, I knew our house is under attack. So I started praying.
Mansion for now. The king is sick, and getting him back on his feet is what matters to me most, not marriage.
offended the gods. That is why he saw me. And so, as long as you are not ready to prove your allegation, then you better shut your mouth and stop spreading dangerous rumors that you cannot prove. Let me prove you. You like the way you handle this matter. When guess what? Of his late father. But father, I am concerned with your recovery. He said that as soon as you confess to the elders in council, that the gods will heal you immediately. Princess, if you forget everything, don't ever forget the fact that each is a good prophet. He's not a noble man. He's one of the bad eggs in the council. If you ever need anything, Thank you. 
I'm surprised they still allow you guards to wear this ancient uniform and portray you like primitive natives. Not to worry, when I become king, then you're gonna wear designer suits and jackets. Fat hands. We are not models that display designer wares. Our work here is secret, and as such, we don't need your designer suits and jackets. How dare you talk to me in that tone? You know where you're talking to the incoming king? I'm aware you are here to see the princess. Let me take you where you wait for. What the hell do you mean by take me where I'll wait? Why are you doing everything possible to get me angry this way? Now, if you're not careful, you're going to terminate your contract in this palace. Take me straight into her bedroom. I came this morning. I must say I'm impressed with the appearance of Venus. Unlike you guys who look so shaped by interest. I'm happy you are impressed with Venus. She's here to keep you company and make you comfortable. Why I go on to the princess in your presence. Fast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and can you please tell me why? God punish you and your nonsense breakfast. I asked you to tell me why I was told to sit here and wait for the princess. You're telling me about that. Do you think I'm one of those small parts who are obsessed with the natural balance? Uh, I don't think you need it either. You're not a human being. Or oh, want something to drink? We have stouts. Fair. 
ordinary. Yes, because instruction here is actually very comfortable as you know it's the business. Get out of my presence. Get out of my presence. Out. Oh, oh, sorry, Sabo. With all due respect, you cannot smoke here. said this tree is a sacred tree. So I'm wondering what my business will be with the tree located in Owoweji, Jilo. What do I have to do with it? Really tell me. People always feel that they are better than us. Do you think they are better? But please, I don't want to be dragged into this discrimination politics. Discrimination politics. Without events, there will be no history. Zenjikoka was murdered by a fanatic member. They murdered him and started this discrimination against him. They were afraid they were going to come to avenge the death of him. The gods, the gods are not as The gods now have started to set the world straight. Each time I look at you, 
out of what you call rubbish. I sense a deliberate attempt to provoke me this morning. And I have every reason to believe that you set that plan in motion. Why are you resisting me? Ever since you came into this palace this morning, have you bothered to know how my father is faring? I'm sorry, little father. I you know what can ever do was a The father's condition has just defied everything. So it's good to just let the old man go. You are the one I love. You are my interest. Getting married to you is my business. Most times when I listen to you, do you know what I hear? A man who is not very intelligent and he bothers me. I take that as a why would you call me unintelligent? Do you know how many men have converted to perpetual paymasters? Do you know how many men pay into my account every day? Do you think it's easy to convert men to paymasters? Standing before me this morning, you just confirmed the rumors making round us true. Yes. You must know. I am the incompetent of this country, and men who would be confident of it pay attention to rumors. Now, uh, what rumor do you hear? You are into 419, true or false? You're just using your father's petrol station to cover up. Hmm? Is that what you told me? I am judging you from what you said with your own mouth. That you converted some men into what you call perpetual paymasters. Is that not 419? And what on earth would you think that I would want to settle for a man that obtains my drink? What would make you think so? Princess, I think you will judge him. You need to give it. I suggest we change the topic. Let's talk something more intimate. That's the reason I gave you. Why do we change? See, my main business now is to see my father recover from his illness, and as long as he has not recovered, I am not thinking of getting married. <coughs> Princess, are you the one saying this or someone speaking to you? This is me. We, Princess Lee, operate in the kingdom. Marriage is not my obsession. If you are so much in a hurry to give out your engagement ring, why not go out there and find another baby? She will be very happy to be your friend. Princess, leave. Wait. Is this a joke or something? Why? I have such suddenly lost interest. Why? I want to see the Queen Mother. Any problem, sir? I'm not very comfortable to answer this. You're trying to make me fall out with this man. Why are you provoking me? I said I want to see the Queen. Fine, sir. You have to wait while I talk to me. It's the intention to see her. That's enough. Thank you. 
Jesus is the one that matters. The opinion of a man that like me is just irrelevant. Nice. Well, have you heard? But the one that is not too far from God, most people actually see when God goes on the phone. What the matter should not teach us. How dare you talk to me? to me as if you really don't know the exact location of the funeral. That is the truth. Huh? I never told you I know the location of the tree. I never told you that. I brought you here to see it in an agreement. I told you to show you the revelation of God. Do you know, if you were not my uncle, I would have cursed you as a friend. You have cursed me already, I'm saying. I don't understand the sense in it. We've been wandering through this, this forest for God knows how long. And we still can't find what we are looking for the tree. So why are we here? You're telling me you want that way to continue to best to find the tree that is going to fetch you millions and make you a millionaire? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to over the kingdom and get somebody who can help me locate the tree. Get that rope off of me, Randy. Do you think they will ever listen to you? I was promised money. I was promised millions of naira if I can find this tree. That's what I want to do. I need I want to have uncle. I need this money.
must have cost a fortune. That cost me a million cents a fortune. I don't know what else to do. She's just being a woman. I think she's planning to make you feel how important she is. But not to worry. Just give me some time. Princess Lane of Oriental Kingdom. I wonder why you are sounding as if you don't believe me. And why would you be thinking that way? She said the tree was uprooted many years ago before I was born. Yes. I already know that. All I need is someone that can take me to the location of this uprooted tree. That's all. But I don't know the location of the tree. I am a man of Odinago. And I'm here to tell you that you have the solution to the problem of this land. This crisis. Elders are meeting in secret places. With the sole aim of passing the vote of good confidence on the king, your father. You can prevent this from happening. Some well positioned men of this kingdom holding secret meeting to pass a vote of no confidence against the king. Are you one of the men that are planning a scheme against the king? I don't believe you. Do you mean to say that you don't trust me anymore? Almost every woman is a Christian. Even those who don't go to any church at all. When they die, they find out that they join the automatical church. The leaders and the members of the church will gather together to bury the dead. But this woman of every age remains the only soul belong to any church. Countless number of times we, the members of the cabinet, we will run into troubled waters in the bid to maintain our traditional culture and come to meet the same way to direct us. to enter the village, ask any person to direct you to the government. Then call her the stop of Akari. Because 
because she hardly agrees to anything. I can authoritatively tell you that she is a good woman. But on the other hand, she is the most benevolent woman I have ever seen in this kingdom. She is kind to my friend. Whatever she cannot say in your presence, she will also be silent in your absence. told me to take my engagement ring and give to someone a maid. That was what she told me. So what are you waiting for? That means she has already freed you to get married to another maiden. Beat her to eat and marry another maiden immediately. So there are many beautiful maidens in this kingdom that are scattered everywhere. Maidens that are more beautiful, more soft. Listen to me. If you have become so bad that you cannot see any of them, the engagement services are now too wide. And they move with them. Every single land you see here are men that will be that now. And this is our land of privilege. I am a woman of men that will be here. So whenever they could be fair. I can't believe it. What would you believe? No, what would you believe? Or are you telling me that Princess Lee is the most beautiful? Is that, are you telling me that to my face? That Princess Lynn is the most beautiful lady you have in this kingdom. That is not the point. The point is, if I got married to some other man like she said, how do I achieve my aim in the next kingdom? That is the point. You are not seeing the idea of being king. King of which place? I'm going to get married to Princess Lane and I'm going to be the next king of this land. That's the plan. Even I think the time is right. I need to open my eyes because I can see you and I see that. Of course, kingship in order to the kingdom has started to rotate. As it rotates in almost all other progressive kingdoms. But the next king will not come from the village of this present king. And will not come from no village either. Kingship is rotating. If your reason for settling for Princess Lynn is because of this nonsense you're listening, you better in time understand that you must take time because it will happen. Wait. Are you insulting me because I came to your house and why are you here? Oh, Obin, I'm not insulting you. How would I do that? I knew you would have to be that. I'm not insulting you, but I'm just telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. And I want you to understand something. This man you are seeing here is a good face of man that will never start something that he has no plan to do. That is this man. Uh, in essence, you're telling me that there's a. You are the proponent of this. The doctrine of. Everything that was good that ever started anywhere was a man. But only that woman starts now. That is good that they are good. Is she a good infant that you are seeing with every single woman trying to support? When I started, I will see you to be patient. 
杂家。Whenever I look around, I wonder why we are cursed in this country. We are seriously cursed in this country. Seriously. That was harsh. How could you say a thing like that? How could you say that this land is cursed, Amaka? Please. Are you the only one in this country? If I should put it to you, this country is the most misgoverned country in the whole world. Amaka, how could you say that? Have you been to other countries to know how they are governed? Oh, have I been to other countries? Okay, take a good look at this road. The contract was awarded to Pada Holdings, a construction company owned by BCC OKK. The contract money have been shared, and the contract forgotten. In the books, this road has been constructed. But in real life, you and I know that this road is still a shadow of its former self. To BCC OKK, he's still there. He's whining. Dining with the governor. Nobody asks him question. Who won? Nobody asks him question of what happened to the money given to him to construct this room. Nobody. Amaka. What? Is that not Princess Liu? That was Liu. What is she doing with this woman? Mm. Princess Lee of Olin Federal Kingdom, what are you doing in Ume? I am looking for a woman called Akara. I don't know if you ladies could help take me to her. You're looking for stubborn Akala. Why do you want to see Akala, my princess? I must tell you immediately that I've not seen her before. But the fact is that there's something very important I want her to do for me. So I must tell you the truth that I will see her today. And it's a matter of life and death situation. Hmm. Life and death situation. Okay. I'll direct you to her. But my princess, firstly, I must warn you. Akala is an evil woman who doesn't go to church. Everybody believes she's a witch. And it's a belief that we all have that she's a witch. Well, I've heard all that, but I still want to see her. You still want to see her? Okay, you're almost there. You just have to drive down. Then take your left. Count four houses. The fourth house is a house. Alright, thank you very much. You're welcome, my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. Your Majesty, she was emphatic when she spoke. She told the young man that marriage was not an obsession for her. Iwe, I know for sure that our daughter is seeing someone else. I want us to make her tell us who that new man in her life is. Because we cannot allow her to get married to just anybody. I agree with you.
This is just 1.30 p.m. 1.30 p.m. daytime and you've consumed all this gate. If you are sure you are looking for the sacred rose symbol of the Little Kingdom, then you have to buy me another bottle. And that will make it the eighth bottle I bought for you today. Does it mean that I was directed to you to be buying you drinks? Is it your business? Am I drinking with your mouth? Those that directed you to me, they were no fools. They know that I know everything. Just one more bottle. You have not misbehaved so far. So maintain. I don't want you to misbehave. Don't misbehave and I will take you to the tree you seek. No, I say no. No. Take me to the tree first. Once I see the tree with my eyes, then I can buy you this whole bag. I want to see the tree. I am audible. I am not always in a hurry. That is why I am not a billionaire yet. Just one more bottle and I will take you to the tree. You are calling a visitor that I brought to your shop. But well, make sure you don't say anything stupid. Make sure you say only what you do. Or you will leave me with no option. And to turn this miserable bar into nonsense. I will not be happy with it. Just to say anything stupid. Sorry, but I don't understand what your business is. I have lived in this land for so long. I know a whole lot of things in this land. I know what you have. You see that one drinking in the air. It doesn't go in there. It doesn't. But those that directed me to you said, he knows. Person that can take me to a secret tree. But you just heard me say that I know everything that happens in this land. I only know the book. He has consumed a whole lot of alcohol there. Yeah. Thank you. 
exactly what that scene told you. Yes. But I'm going to prove to him that before ever he came to this town and started answering the line, we have been talking about it. And my boss had two pieces before him. You know what? Make a mistake of appearing before Osisi on a day that is not a Kemake day. May may do that at least. But you as a woman, don't ever try it. Why are you making this thing difficult for me? Why? General immigration and government people. One day unites, take vengeance. Tell you the truth. Indebted to you. Eh? Yes. I said I am indebted to you. This, this is the same tree I saw in that revelation. Same tree. I don't know what you mean by you are indebted to me. Listen, if you know anything you want to give me for showing you this tree, please give it to me. I don't want anybody to be indebted to me. I don't have time to be following them just around. Give it to me. Do you know anybody who has been exposed to the powers of this tree? What do you mean by the powers of the tree? It is a very good system. Is it the power of the tree? Yes, it is. The masquerade that they bring to me to me that I can get anything I ask on this tree. In fact, they said that the tree can be a millionaire. That's why I'm here. That's why I need you. I don't do 
get it then. said you are agree to me and I, I think I can see all the signs of greatness here. Please, I'm pleading with you. I need help. help. From what I got from you, you are looking for a secret. Just you are located the secret of sin.
want you to tell me the meaning of the words of the Lord. Well, I know in the Jesus name, all truth and nothing but the truth. If you were so much in a hurry to get married, then tell him to find someone else because me, I am not the one for you. Who is the new man? If you are not, you don't act like you don't know what you're talking about. There must be Mom, there's no man, no man anywhere, no man. You think I'm a child like that, just like you? Who is the one in your life? Mommy, why do you doubt me? See, if there's a man, I'll tell you. There is no man anywhere. Obina had planned to get married to you. That shows you're not ready. So I want you to tell me from one moment to the other when are you going to be ready? No, mommy, let me tell you the truth. I will never marry that kind of relationship. Hmm? I will never marry that. I will be no man's wife. I choose to remain single for the rest of my life. You will be able to get married and become a mother. You're not serious, are you? I'm very serious, Margaret. I can't come to you and tell you that I've found it and I've not found it. Okay, fine. So, can you take me to the place now? I wish it's my command. If you want me to take you now, I will take you right away. Never make a mistake of appearing before us is single on a day that is not a game market day. Men may do that as it's you as a woman. <laughs> Don't ever try it. You see, I was told that if I must appear before the tree, that it has to be on a K day. I don't know about appearing before the tree on a K day. All I know is that I have found a location. Do you know any woman called Akala of my village? Akala? Yes, of course. I know Akala very well. Everyone knows Akala. Say she's evil. But we, the youth, have come to realize that she's not evil. She's one of the very sincere women we have in the land. She has never cheated anyone before. And no one can say Akala is a soft evil or not. She's not a seer. But everyone that followed her advice never regretted her. Her only problem is that she is very stubborn. But why did you ask you like this? I don't like what you are doing. I don't like what you are doing. You hired me to bring your guy, and yet you're not listening to me. Listen, I have this feeling you have a personal problem with that book. I don't care. It is not my business. It's your business. You solve it. If you want me to continue buying you drinks, fine. But right now, I'm going to get those chickens so I can give to that woman, and she will help me tap from the tree. That is why I am here. Here in this kingdom, 
There are other people who will be ready to listen to us and even do it at cheaper rate. Let us go and meet them. I'm okay with that woman. How can you be okay with the woman? You're okay with the woman. I was a person that took you to the woman. How can you be okay with the woman? Do you know the woman before? I was a person that took you to Akala, and I'm telling you that I want us to see other people that, that before we now take our final decision. I have taken my own decision, and that is final. See, I have a mission here. I'm not here to play. I don't, I don't want distraction. Just, just hold on. Do you mean to say you now see me as a distraction? Okay, fine. Let's just cut this thing short. I have paid you what you asked me to pay you. Every day you are free. If you do not want to continue the work, fine. Go back to the bar and continue drinking. Thank you. This is an insult. Eh? This is a big insult. A visitor who doesn't know his way around the kingdom is not saying nonsense because I've shown him what he came to see. We shall see about that. Is it not because of this Akala? If not for the ghost now, we have just gone back to that shrine. And I told you, you won't take this thing outside now. Can I agree with you? Can you swear by anything that you do not keep from the princess? Why are you talking this way? What do you do? I warned you. I came to you specifically because I thought you were smart. And I warned you not to tell her my business. What did you do? I hold you responsible for all the insults I got at the palace. I'm really amazed at you. Wait, wait, wait. I really need to get something straight. Was it Princess Lin that told you that I mentioned your visit to the palace to her today? The princess did not tell me anything. But the structure I met on the ground gave me the impression that I had a prior notice of my visit. And that you look me in the face and deny this fact. Obina, why are you worrying over nothing? Nothing happened. Is that what you call this? Nothing? Nothing. I mean, you should be worried about the princess who is no longer thinking about you. And here you are asking me to deny, accept, swear, or whatever. That shouldn't worry you. You should think more about the princess and about all these things. Can you tell me who this new man is? I don't know who the new man is. So automatically, you find yourself The new man is very dynamic and strong, and the thought of him has consumed. Now, you ought to have known that I'm not interested in money or I'm not that cheap. So, if you have to pay me for anything, the payment has to be based on something reasonable. You're not asking me to give you information about my friend. Why would you want me to come to your place? Say what you just say. The princess who is betrothed to you should be your concern. I'm not being here saying all this. Please, if you don't mind, I would like to be left alone. Please. Helen, I came to you because I believe you were smart. Then you get the vacation. I just want to put your thoughts together like adults.
Why do you hate Obi Wan Kenobi so much? I beg your pardon. What did you just say? The instructions he gave to me ran contrary to the original instructions we had. I know you hate me, and I want to know why. How many of you? I mean, I spoke with him recently, and I felt very bad. I don't know, but I think he knows you don't want to. I think you're beginning to lose the time. Look into my eyes and deny this. Lost a thing. No, I have never allowed such thoughts to cross my mind. Trust me. I mean, I know he's. All I'm concerned with is the fact that you now treat him like a stranger. Why? Girlfriend, how are you today? What exactly did you tell Obi now, Kate? Don't tell me he told me. He just left my place and he sounded as if you told him off. Helen, there are some people you know and you're happy. Why there are other people you know and you're very, very angry. Yes, but I don't understand the import of that statement. You see, Helen, I choose to remain single instead of getting married to such a character like Ovina. You're making a witty statement. Why allow him to come this far? You should have told him all this while that you're not interested in him. Do you really want me to tell you? Obi New Cage is a froster. But if you ask me. There's nothing wrong with that, honestly. So you actually know he's a froster. And you want me to be wasting my time with him. Obi New Cage is into a whole lot of things. And if you don't like him, you should have told him all this while instead of allowing him to waste his time and now you say something else. What, Helen? Do you know what? If you want Obi New Cage, if you want Obi New want to go for him, you can have him for all I care. As in, you can go for him, have him for all I care. And please, I don't want to continue this call. I'll call you later. Princess? Princess? You see, Helen, there are certain things I want most of us to discuss. In a more relaxed atmosphere. You know, you can get into the world. A perfect example of the African people. You know, sometimes you let yourself go. Free yourself. Explore your soul. Explore my experience. Explore my experience. Does that mean? Yeah. The stranger from Obinago had alleged that you can make some money here. I am standing here as a man of. Asking you to open up and give me the clues. But you surely cannot start the business of reaching people with outsiders. No, it's not done. You have to start it with those of us who have been rich all our lives here in this kingdom. Open up and give me the clues. Don't pretend not to be hearing me because I know you are hearing me. Don't pretend not to hear me. You are hearing me. I want to tell you that I'm standing before you. A merchant, and I can tell you immediately that this merchant is very, very sharp. Open up and give me the millions you promised the stranger for Obi Nago, or you give people the option of putting you down. Hey, you want to be stingy to me? Okay. I am going to count five, and if you fail to do something, I'm going to cut you down for you. Finally, I'm going to. The count starts now. One. What is it? Two. Three. 
four, four and a half. Position, open up and give me the millions. I'm about to count five. I am about to count five. Five. I asked you to say it was now. Why didn't you do it? I don't understand why you asked me to go to your house. Why would you always see yourself as my responsible customer? And what does that mean? That I want you to come to an international meeting. And that is why I asked you to come to my house. You come to me on my own. You realize all the intentions. going to continue like this, I'll start picking your fault. You are being groomed as this king of this kingdom, and I'll appreciate if you can talk like someone who is going to be the king someday in the future. Not all these things are saying to me. You know, all I have to say to you is, good night. I called her good before and he said it's not good. I want us to ask him to do this now. Um, to the best of my knowledge, that statement means only but one thing. That a kingship would be rotating from one village to another village. And that is a noble move. <laughs> I see no reason you should make it look as if each year has said something that is abominable. Yeah, it's your good. <laughs> Jeff, what would you do? Are you seeing the reason I will always tell you that this man is a show of your He's a great man. Are you seeing? 
This man here is a man that is made in the caliber of king. Where are you praising Jesus? Hey. It's like you'll be meeting in secret places and have taken the vision of kingship already. Let me make one thing clear. We have a king in this land. And as long as that king lives, nobody should take this decision. Sorry, I have to cut in here. Point of direction. I believe you are seeing the book with a call us here to tell us something that we have never allowed him to say. The reason why he has called us. Why are we discussing about who being like okay, the first time? Oh, you are. Please. I want to thank you for this energy. These are great men we have in this kingdom. When they speak, you know, men that are committed to the progress of this kingdom are always looking for the way forward. Okay, let me introduce my topic. Our king is up against the gods. He has offended the gods. He committed a secret abomination that he is not willing to confess to anybody. And because of this very, very hidden abomination that he committed, the gods inflicted him with incredible sickness. That is why he's suffering. That's why he's sick. And we need to move and pass a vote of no confidence on this man so that he, he, he will cease to be king. And from the way you know who's happened, it was clear to me that he has been wrong. I don't understand it. So I call this meeting this night of men that seek the truth for us to take up this matter. What do you think Sunday is doing this? You know who say that we should leave the, the, the course to continue with what they have started to do. That is very funny. Very funny in the sense that we are talking about a man who the course are already destroying. A man that is already up against the course. A man that have a man that that that, that, that committed up a sacrilege. A man that the course are destroying. Can you imagine that kind of thing? You know who is telling us that we have to remove the man from the tomb. That is madness. I don't understand it. The man is down already at the capacity level. Is it ever normal for such a man to be the true God of man to have their king? Whatever they are very good. Very. We must pass a bit of no confidence. It will be to know who will make the last. We cannot do anything without the king. Yeah, Africa, why are you? Why? You see the reason we always disagree. You understand when you open your mouth and begin to wonder where you're coming from. I just told you that you see, I just, I just told you that you don't know who has been wrong. I don't know who is not willing to do the work and do. And they're telling me that you have to see that you don't know who to do something. How can you do something like that? How can you be saying that kind of thing? You move up to the body. You know what I mean? I don't want us to go into that. What I'm seeing is that there is something Something that we are going to do at this matter is something that's going to be done. Very simple. Tomorrow, we are going to take the deity, the oracle of our king, to palace. We to present the deity to the king, and then we are going to ask the king to swear on the deity, to absolve himself, to show us that he is innocent of my allegation that he committed a secret abomination. But we are God. If he swears and survives, we leave him alone and know the man has committed nothing. Then we leave the God to do what they are doing. But that man that I believe is as an king, he is not going to swear. And immediately he refuses to swear tomorrow. That is automatic. You have to put a vote of no confidence. I am confident. But you are she got no secret. But that is too late. We are going to settle for that kind of baby because that kind of baby is the kind of baby we need in a time like this. We are not a bunch of fools that will approach the king with all these moi 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 things, all these moi 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 oracle plans. Moi moi oracle plans. Because we need to play the game. We are not going to go for that kind of oracle. We have to go with another kind of oracle. Something that we are just going to do. Okay, we are going to go. I'm <laughs> 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 
God, you are the one that answered me. Why are you thinking this? And what are you doing here by this time that all everybody men are in their places of work and businesses? Amaka, I am working. 
In fact, I am the main person that is working. Where is he? Where is who? Don't make me look stupid. I have searched for him almost everywhere and finally something told me to come to you because you are the bomb. Where is he? Are you not talking in parables? Because I'm not getting it. Where is who? What are you talking about? Okay. A visitor came into this kingdom yesterday. His name is Anozi. And I know he slept here in this kingdom. And I'm really asking you to show me where he slept. Hold it. What are you trying to say? That a visitor came into this kingdom. And you're now asking me his whereabouts. What do you take me for? What are you saying? Oh, are you calling me a slut or something? You see, it is our kingdom. There is no other girl more beautiful than you. Mm. Eh? Is there any? No. In way other girl is deity more than you here in this kingdom. The answer is no. Listen to me. Let me clarify you. The young man came in with a whole lot of money and he was spending money. Without any argument, he gave Akala exactly what she demanded from him. And I am asking you to tell me where he slept. I must tell you immediately that I've not seen her before. But the fact is that there's something very important I want her to do for me. So I must tell you the truth that I must see her today. And it's a matter of life and death situation. Now that I get you, was that why she was desperately looking for Akal? Oh, 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 oh. Just hold on. You see, here in this kingdom, I'm the only person that consumes a whole lot of alcohol. Are you also under the influence of alcohol? Meaning, because I am talking about Anosi and you are telling me she. Who is the she? I'm talking about We ran into her yesterday and she was desperately looking for Akala. And now you say that your stranger paid Madame Akala exactly the amount she demanded. Meaning that he actually paid for the Princess. Hold on, don't speak further. Abaka, are you telling me that Princess Lee went to Akala yesterday? Very of you have accused the king. Now the king has accepted that he will swear. <laughs> he has no option. Therefore, step forward and swear on the staff of the Oracle of Apollo. Are you sure? This kingdom is the only kingdom that we have that we can comfortably call our kingdom. And we must rise up to salvage this kingdom from this evil man. This man here that is our king is an evil man. He committed secret abomination against the gods. And that is the reason the king can see the medical disease. He is paralyzed. Does it happen anywhere that a man who is up against the gods? Um, I want to say here and now that I am no longer sure of the allegation against the king. You are saying three of you had accused the king. So you must swear on this stuff. Before the staff of the Oracle of Apollo, leadership entails that men must be sure of what they want to say before they open their mouths. You have already accused the king, therefore, you must no longer be punished. Before the sick king, who is paralyzed, who does he represent the kingdom? Who is up against the gods because of the secret evil he committed? And holding the staff of the oracle of Abulico, I suppose that we are sure.
always be the get the just. Your condition has to do with the gods. And I know at the appointed time they shall make all things right. Do not surrender to death. Destroy their families because they refuse to stop. He has a 
Does he mean that you just cannot think at all? There was a man with Akala yesterday in our house. And that man actually paid Akala to pimp the princess for him. And the man is a total stranger from God knows where. And that was the reason why princess was going to Akalaza. It looks like if there's sense in what you are saying. But I don't know why I find it difficult to believe. So you're telling me you don't believe me? You know I'm not too close to princess. But one thing for sure that she would not be so low to allow a character as Akala to pimp her to a total stranger. Oh, Why are you thanking God? I was just telling Chris about the stranger that came in here yesterday. And she wouldn't believe me. So can you tell her about that stranger? No, no, no. I didn't come here for all that. I came here simply to publish the orders from the chief priest of the Oracle of Hakuniko. This is a new dawn here in Oriental Kingdom. Those that open their mouth will say exactly what they know. The gods are angry simply because we are now talking too much of what we don't know. Please do not say I did not tell you what the chief priest said. I have said my piece. I don't believe that the chief priest said that. Where did this see the priest? Aloka, as we speak now, Three Ichies have died on the staff of the Oracle of Akuniko. Simply because they said they knew what they don't know. The Ichies that died were Ichie of Edu, Ichie Ibenebu, and Ichie Ego Bife. Please, we must open our mouth to say only what we know here in order to look kingdom. Abaka, I have said my peace. Does he mean that this chief is a father of our 
<laughs> Please, I don't want to be part of it. I don't know anything.